Start the camera on the laptop. Start the camera on the desktop. Get the mic. Ring the phone. We are going to ring Jacinda Hamilton in the Hamilton Legal Office and see if we have better luck. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'll put that over here and put the speaker on so that it can pick up. Hello, yes, could I speak to Jacinda Hamilton, please? Oh, can I speak to someone else, her partner, please? Pardon? I want to start a case up, if you can do a case for me, a money laundering case in Hamilton. Yes. I'll. Yep. Yeah, I'll go there now, and I'll fill out details, and um, I'll go from there. Is there anything else? Yes. Service. At. How do you say? How do you say that? Hamilton. Legal. Dot NZ. Dot NZ. Not dot. Dot NZ. Okay. Okay. And who are you speaking to? Angela. Angela. I'm John Wanoa. And I'll, 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 I'll start from there. It's a wonderful case. And I would love to share it with you there. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, that's that. That's gone through, and let's go to the website after that. And um, we can switch that off. And that's a Crown Court. That's the right one with the solicitor. So I'll go through and um, fill out their forms on the website, their website. And I've got their email there as well, and her name, reception. Okay, there. So now the time is 10.42 a.m. on uh, Wednesday, the 27th of November 2024. Just recording here, the Hamilton Legal Office of Crown Solicitor in Hamilton, where the crime took place with Edie Mitchell, the Mitchell Family Trust, stolen 17 trillion US dollars from me and it's under an S T at claim to the lease land contract of 201 years of New Zealand native country to British Crown. Okay, so that's what the case is. It's a money laundering case of Phoenix activity which is criminal organization behind the scam of banks that have turned me down and now we've ended up with a solicitor lawyer of the Crown Court which is in the right place as far as I can see. I've done all the research on it and we'll get to that yet. We just want to get a quote to start it and put him in the court, High Court. I want to go to the High Court and stick him in there and make him say where he got the money from. That's what money laundering is. Where did you get the money from? Eddie, and then we'll know where he got it from. It's come out of here. My brain, not his family, Mitchell Family Trust. They don't have this skill, 50 years of research, to put $17 trillion STAC claim together to the British Crown legal inheritance of its business investment staff, Parliament 
and government where I'm going to. Now, with a court case between Donald Trump and his Congress in the U.S. federal state government, Treasury, Vincent, Scott Vincent, one trustee of his corporation with no British flag of admiralty, court martial law, mortgage lien, bank loans. He hasn't got a British flag of a king. And that trustee, Besant, versus six trustee lords of Westminster Parliament and the ex governor of the British UK Crown Treasury. So seven people in the Westminster Treasury and us, the head of the Treasury, as first partner party to a two-party contract between us, the native chiefs of Aotea, New Zealand, Dutch founded country, New Zealand and Dutch founded country, Easter Island or Rapa Nui, and us with the Queen and King of Netherlands, the owners of the information and instruments of legal ownership to this country and us, the native that gave our consent and our title of the Māori Māori Manukau, Rewherewha Manukau, 1862 Native Land Act of Aotea New Zealand country, Māori Māori, from Taiwan and South Africa. Okay, that's where they come from. And one of our royal Tahitian family from Rapa Nui, Easter Island, to Mokanui, Te Pito at East Cape on my land blocks. There, yeah, to Te Pito, birth of the world naval at Easter Island, Anakena Marae, to Marangaro Marae, Te Pito, birth of Aotea, New Zealand country, at East Cape, Marangaro Marae, Marangaro land blocks, direct to the Maui standing in London, which is our memorial to the Maui God birth law, L O R E, truth, law, and L A W, King's Emperor's law, originating from the first treasury debt management of William the Conqueror, King William the First, 1066, and his connection to King William the Third of Orange, Dutchman, founder of the Protestant Easter Island in Aotea New Zealand country as Zealand Dutch and Easter Island Dutch and um, King William the Third Bank of England Act 1694 two bar patented Patterson Pound Note Act 1694 and the War Powers Act Declaration of War Flag against enemy or pirates on the high sea 1694 War Powers Act and also the 1694 1694 Constitution Act of 1689 for 10 years and in Westminster Parliament. All of that to King George IV, 1823, native land lease transfer to the Freemasons in New Zealand with Paramount Chief Tera Waikato Wharehere in Manukau from Waikato, his land Waikato and his Manukau harbour and his Waikato River and his Mangatauri Mountain and Cambridge to Cambridge, England from Cambridge, Hamilton where I'm going to the court and his connection to his lease land contract 1823 201 years worth 17 trillion 
US dollar stamp. Eddie Mitchell, director and owner of the Mitchell Family Trust from Hamilton, has stolen my native title to the Manukau and Rogan Judge family and the Manukau and the Wainoa Rogan Judge family and that's our title to the British Crown. Direct and not Eddie Mitchell through New South Wales Australia prison convicts which he is with the rest of them Willie Jackson and Tamahiri and all the others who come from there and um, are running a scam in the government in New Zealand. Crown under Shindikira Japanese Maori and her flag with her crown on the top of her head and her flag, the new flag of New Zealand, trying to beat off our King's Empress flag of King William IV, 1835 Constitution of New Zealand country, founding 1834 of New Zealand, Dutch country, and 1835 Municipal Corporations Act of King William IV to pick up the rent on the leased lands that we've got the title of 201 years over for the rest of 257 native countries in the world waiting for us to lead off with the first native land transfer title to the British Crown legal inheritance entity and that's where I'm at at the moment with this lawyer um, um, Jacinda, Jacinda Hamilton okay so she's in Hamilton as a Crown solicitor which is in the right place to go straight to the Crown Court past the High Court and the Supreme Court straight into the Crown Court to deal with this big criminal case that's corporations of all corporates in the world this is the biggest claim with 17 trillion one Maori is a trillionaire above every other corporation in the world and the banks here are covering them up the courts are covering them up the banks in England Australia Singapore I've been right through them and the banks have turned me down here ANZ Bank just yesterday 26th of November 2024 the bank ANZ in Queen Street Auckland and a Chinese girl turned me down to go back into their bank to pick up where I was with all these claims she turned me down and the BNZ Bank turned me down too so now I'm going straight to the solicitor lawyer and deal with the whole lot of them as fraudsters and um, Betting, um, a betting, um, a betting, a criminal Eddie Mitchell, um, a money laundering um, chief of all corporations in the world, and that's going to libel the whole lot of all the Freemasons in the world, the barristers in the world, the courts in the world, the politicians in the world, the judges, the um, public servants, and also the royal families and everybody that's following Eddie Mitchell and his English family, Mitchells. Okay, they're liable and I'm going through the Witherby's Scottish Bank that is in Edinburgh, Scotland where the money came from and Eddie went there with my documents and three sticks of memory and stole the money and ran off with it and that's what they're all doing. They're all doing the same as Eddie. Mitchell running off with the money and gone to Frankfurt, Germany and taken all the money out of the Treasury in London and we are going to get it back with the Maori Crown King William III Trust and the Maori Crown King George IV Trust creditors, assignees, liquidators and the right court documents to do it. Okay, so yeah, that's all for now. I'll just switch off the laptop in this video and it's here, right here and go and see the website for the Hamilton Legal Office and fill it all out in and then go for it that way. I'm going eliminating one thing at a time, one thing at a time and 
they end up in the High Court or the Solicitor Crown Court. The High Court and the Crown Court. I'm running a Native Magistrate King's Bench Court Magistrate High Court with our 66th court hearing coming up soon about this. And the Treasury in Trump's Treasury, one Treasury, Treasurer, Besant, Scott Besant versus six um, Lord uh, Treasurers and an Exchequer Governor in Westminster Parliament. That's on our side of our contract with them. So we've got a contract with them and the British Crown and those solicitors say the American federal state has no jurisdiction of the British Crown Admiralty with their flag. The American flag is not a British given flag. Our flag is a given British flag of King Empress and King William the Fourth King um, uh, Constitution flag and also the money lease con lease um, Municipal Corporations Act flag, 1835. To pick up the rent of all corporations in the world, 257 countries to pick all their franchise high court royalties of them and their corporations are going to pay the bill 970 million trillion trillion pound note the greenback that's got King Ernest Augustus head on it King Ernest Augustus V that I nominated and put on the throne as our king of our legal instruments and Freemasons transferred title into the British crown under King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch on Westminster and the Parliament and Buckingham Palace and the Crown. Okay, so that's it. That's it. We'll catch you later. Bye bye. Off with the desktop. Off with the laptop. <laughs>